Our next topic is a doozy because it has to do with Disney and Gina Carano. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about it right over here. It just comes to us from Bounding Into Comics once again. Disney attempts to dismiss Gina Carano's wrongful termination lawsuit, argues First Amendment, quote, provides a complete defense against the Mandalorian actress. So basically, Disney is saying, my First Amendment is bigger than your First Amendment. That's how it's, that's sort of stupid. And the thing is that, they're saying that she used, um, you know, the, the the history of like uh, the Holocaust to uh, get her away. I'm like, did you not see what Pedro Pascal did? He did the worst and nothing happened to him. It's because he was towing the line, right? He's sucking the democratic cum, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, Gray, how, how, how do you feel about this Gina Carano situation, man? Yeah. And plus, uh... Gina Carano also has... Uh, a special with Tucker Carlson. So uh, if you guys go want to go check it out, go check it out. Uh, Tucker Carlson one's pretty good. I watched. Uh, I watched like uh, almost all of it. Like I have like ten minutes left. But Gray, how do you feel? Yeah, I don't. Disney being Disney. Uh, until we get rid of Bob and the board of directors. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing this until I don't know until they yeah they run out of money. But that's that's gonna take a long, long time. Because, like, yep. yeah, a, a part of us wants the old Disney to be back, but there's going to there's gonna be a lot of carnage in terms of the people currently in, employed there. You got to take take them out. You got to take out all the bad worms to bring back the old Disney. But I don't know. It's going to take maybe another 10, 10 years at least for that to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and read this. It says, uh, in offering their first official response, Response to former Mandalorian actress Gina Carano's wrongful termination lawsuit, Disney has moved to, dim- to dismiss her legal action on the grounds that their opinion, the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, provides them the right to disassociate its own artistic message from Carano's outspoken political beliefs. Uh, they continue. As previously reported, thanks to financial and legal assistance from Tesla company founder CEO, uh, sorry, Elon Musk, and former Cara Dune actress announced her First, announce her intent to take the House of Mouse and its subsidiary studios to full fi- uh, the full filing, which can be read here, which we read already, um, on February 6th via a lengthy post that made her official Twitter account. So basically, this is right up here. This is what she talked about. We read this. Uh, yeah, it's very lengthy. And we read all of that last time. So uh, so over, over here, she provided examples. This is all she didn't share. Any, she didn't type anything. All she just did was she shared a post, right? Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that they get to point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews when the government first made their own neighbors hate them by simply for being Jews. Nah, how is that any different from hating someone of their own political views? And she basically just posted this image. She didn't type it out. But they hate her nonetheless. Right, so our artists do uh, do not sign away our rights to as American citizens where we enter employment. She added, "I've spoken to all my co-stars since I was uh, I was fired, and there was nothing but care and kind words between us. I respect their right for their free speech." We talked about this already, and then of course you have Pedro Pascal, the scum lord that he is. Losers in 1865, losers in 1945, and losers in 2020. He put MAGA make America great again. And basically saying that we are the same as Nazi Germany. So, Gray, from a person who lives outside of the U.S., how do you feel about what Pedro Pascal said comparing everyone that voted for Trump in 2020 Nazi fascists? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, It's hard to take celebrity opinions, most of them, most celebrity opinions seriously anymore. Because, you know, they're just, yeah, as you said, they're just towing the line so they can continuously get the paycheck. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, it's like when you get into Hollywood, it's it utterly destroys you. you even though it's like you seemingly want to get out, kind of like Tom Holland. Like, right? We, we, we talked about him last year. Like, he was like, oh, I want to get out of this shitty situation. But it's like, nah. He, he, at the end of the day, you caved. You wanted more money. You wanted more of the prestige. So... 
you end up doing more uh, you end up pandering to more of the BS like his incoming Romeo and Juliet movie so it's the same thing for this yep. guy all right yeah I agree I think it's just like these people are just uh you know you, you if if you want to remain relevant you want to be famous or a lifestyle of the rich and famous right you got to suck some dick and then this is the dick that they're sucking and you know like the Pedro Pascal is very good at, uh, at that so interestingly the same constitution American right for free speech that Disney has pointed to in the defense of their cutting ties with Carano filing a motion to dismiss Carano's lawsuit on April 9th, the House of Mouse's attorneys argued that Disney has a constitutional right not to associate with uh, its artistic expressions with Carano's speech, such as the First Amendment provides a complete defense to Carano's claims. As Carano's own fame rose with her characters, Carano began engaging with uh, show fans and the public in that manner. That in Disney's view came to distract from the undermine and and sorry and undermine Disney's own expressive efforts. Recap Disney for their side of the story. Carano's decision to publicly trivialize the Holocaust by comparing criticism of a political conservatives to the annihilation of millions of Jewish people, notably not thousands, was the final straw for Disney. Now here's the thing: she didn't write it, right? She not she not write it, and the thing is that. Uh, to trivialize, she didn't trivialize. She's basically giving an example of things that Disney is going to be Disney, right? They're gonna, they basically gonna kowtow to, um, you know, what the public wants. Now, here's the thing: if everyone in the public actually hates what Disney is doing, Disney will swing that way. They'll actually lean that way. It's because it's based off of culture. And let's say if everybody is hate hating Disney's decisions that they love sucking dick. Right, and they, they love taking it in the ass and uh, basically stroking the shaft and strong, uh, swallowing the gravy. Uh, if they hate that, Disney would actually stop. But the thing is that every, uh, there's a lot of these woke people, especially these loud people online, which is the people that Disney will only listen to, the, the loud vocal minority. Disney's going to continue doing what they're doing. But the thing is that that's why we need to call them out whenever we see bullshit like this. Right? Um, we need to. We need to call them out whenever they, they do something this dumb. And the thing is, if they are going to throw it out, they just want to say, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll settle with like $20 million or something like that, however many million dollars. But they're not going to show that they're going to do it. However, I know that um, they want to throw it thrown out, but there's a lot of money to be made here. Whether or not if it's, um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, through like uh, publication through um you know because it's, this is she's suing california and california might actually take this on i don't know uh it's uh it do you think that the judge or whoever is basically going to be in charge of uh in charge of this case do you think they're going to throw it out depends on the affiliation of the judge if mm -hmm. like Somehow Bob Iger knows the judge. Yeah, obviously the Bob Iger. Said, okay, we got to do that under the table transaction. Then, yeah, they're gonna th they're gonna scrap it. But if it's like a more objective judge that kind of sees what's happening with Disney and doesn't uh, wants to show, uh, you know, sh what do you call this? Um, have his or her family members enjoy Disney products again, then probably he or she will side with Gina. So okay. That's how I see. Do you don't, don't you want a lifetime like uh entry to Disneyland and any Disney parks? Mm. Throw it out. Mm. Right? Don't mm. your kids like Star Wars? Don't you guys want to meet a uh, shitty ass terrible person Mark Hamill? Don't you want to meet that piece of shit? Right, so I don't know. Yeah, they they they, they could be freaking, uh, you know, freaking blackmailed or you know. Yeah, it depends on the affiliation. Yeah, and how easily yeah. uh, swayed the judges. Yeah, the uh, Carano's claims are all barred by the First Amendment, as the Supreme Court held. Uh, Hurley, the Irish American gay, lesbian, and bisexual group of Boston. The First Amendment embodies a core principle of speaker's autonomy that bars the state from in <laughs> dictating to express expressive in, uh, enterprises what to say, how to say it, and whom to say it through. As a court further held by Boy Scouts 
of America v. Dale, the principle means that the state cannot force an employer engaged in speech to speak through an employee who owns views or public profile could compromise the employer's own message, even if the employee does not express her views on the job. To this end, Disney then affirmed state law can protect employees' uh, political activity without violating the employer's free speech rights. This quotation being cited from a 2012 paper by UCLA law professor and constitutional uh, attorney Eugene Volok. Sounds like a demon. Uh, <laughs> what state cannot, uh, what the law cannot do, however, is force ent entities that do create speech products to speak through writers or singers or actors whose own speech and public profile could, in an employer's view, compromise the employer's ability to express itself in its own chosen ma uh, manner, they declared. Carano's suit uh, contravenes that rule. It is an impermissible effort to invoke state power to override a private entity's decision about what they say in its own art and how they say the complaint should be dismissed. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure it's going to happen. And the fact that she, uh, you know, Gina Carano uh, was also on uh, Brett Cooper. She's going on a lot of talk shows right now, and she as as she should. And I believe that's the reason why she probably didn't show up to the 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 F and T meetup is because she actually have pressing matters to attend to. Yeah, see, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, drawing their argument to a close, Disney ultimately posited that the First Amendment protects Disney's decision to disassociate itself from speech, but not from other different speech. Carano evidently believes that the other actor statements were sufficiently similar to hers to warrant identical concern from Disney. But under the rule of speaker's autonomy, that determination is not to her or a jury to make, they explained. Rather, the First Amendment mandates difference uh, to the speaker's own decisions about the speech to associate with, uh, even if others might consider those decisions internally inconsistent. This quotation being cited from the aforementioned Supreme Court, the division of Boy Scouts v. Uh, Dale Carano thus cannot stake out a discrimination claim by alleging that Disney uh, accorded different treatments to different statements by different actors. That's pretty shitty for what they're saying. As of writing this, the U.S. Uh, Central District Court of California judge overseeing the case, uh, the Han Sherlin Peace Garnett, has yet to rule the Disney request. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually going to throw it out. Because, like I said, this is a pretty big case. Right. And it's also funded by Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And Elon's I, the kind of guy who's going to find a way. So, if even yeah. if it gets scrapped once, he's probably going to find some, they're going to find some way to bring it out again. That's what I feel. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.